the lovely, talented Tina Sloan. If you haven't read her book, but where's the book? You didn't bring your book? Oh, changing shoes. I have my copy, don't worry. That book has been everywhere. Have you seen it? It's been on the subway, it's been on horseback, it's been in a cab, it's been everywhere. And it's a wonderful book. And she, Tina does a one-woman show that's fantastic that I hear I've got to come see where my ticket is. Um, but I just let you know what I love. This is what I love about what we do for a living on our side in the daytime community. The shows end and we have to go on. Sadly, we have to say goodbye to our friends and our family, their family members. But as we move on and do different things in our lives, these people come together and support us. And we help each other. And you have a wonderful support team behind you, Tina. I think you know that. And uh, we're very blessed. So Tina's going to announce the outstanding lead actor. Let's see who it is. Outstanding lead actor. First, of course, like everyone else, I want to thank Roger and Damon from the bottom of my heart. It was so hard. I mean, I've spent my life on soaps, and it means the world to all of us who were soap actors to have a new place to go. And it's so much fun to be on the internet. And Greg and Brian, what you've done on Empire, it's so high camp. I have a niece who's a PhD, and she and all of her PhD friends watch Empire because they think it's so high camp. <laughs> Who would know? Okay, outstanding lead actor. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Anthony Anderson, Anna Kostya. Does makeup, and I said, I'm doing a show about Andy Costi, and she came on and did makeup. 
And we and I love you, Laura. I love you so much. I want to thank my incredible, incredible, beautiful cast. I love each and every single one of you. They work for free. They never complain. They show up on time, which is, as you all are, sometimes it's hard to do. I want to thank Damon and Roger for creating such a medium for us to be recognized and for me to be in a room with Henry B. Smith and Kim Zimmer and all these incredibly, incredibly talented people that I grew up watching because my mother wouldn't watch, let me watch cartoons until 3 o'clock came on. So, to be here with Martha Byrne and Kim Zimmer and Henry B. Smith, I, I just can't. I just can't e even put into words. And to be in a category with Nick and, uh, and Will and, and, uh, and, and uh, oh my God, so many people, uh, uh, so many other people, uh, Camden and, and, and everyone else. I, I don't accept this award as a winner. I accept this award on our behalf because we all deserve this. As you all know, it's the people that are behind the scenes that never get the recognition that they deserve. Simone, come on the stage. The people that are behind the scenes that never get this recognition. And I want to first of all thank Simone Johnson for coming on board and directing the episode, taking a load off of my shoulder. Thank you. And this man right here. His name is Sean Davey. And when no one else wanted to help me in Washington, D.C. put the second season of this show together, this man came and said, whatever you need, I am there for you. you. And this show could not be done without him. We sit together and listen to music. We sit together and edit. He listens to me. He has been a shoulder to cry on. This man has replaced the battery in my truck. This man has done everything for me, and I can say, I want to say at this moment, I want to thank you because this moment is not about me. This moment is all about each and every one of you and you and that cat back there. Stay the hell up, Stand up and positive. Thank you all so much for honoring me in this way because if you honor me, you honor this show. Steve, you are incredible. Everyone, on the, everyone in this room is incredible, and I am just too through with words. So. Okay.